This study presents a modular and multifunctional soft actuator that may assist in the regeneration of tubular organs based on mechanical stimulation. One example of application is the treatment of long gap esophageal atresia, a congenital defect in which an esophageal segment of more than 3 cm is missing. In a previous study, we showed that we can grow new esophageal tissue by applying traction to the tissue in axial direction. In this study, our objective is to create a robotic implant that is modular in order to create hollow cylinders of various sizes to fit in different tubular organs, such as the esophagus and bowel. This implant should be multifunctional to stimulate longitudinal and circular muscle fibres in the gastrointestinal tract. Consequently, the implant is soft to comply with the mechanical properties of the organs and their surroundings. We have fabricated elastomeric strands as modular elements which we can configure in helical structures of various sizes. These elastomeric strands can further be enforced with two distinct patterns of fabric in order to achieve multifunction, that is, both axial and radial expansion for mechanical stimulation of tissue in two directions. The elastomeric strands were made by 3D moulding. Each strand had a length of 60 cm. Polyester sheets were embedded in each of the pneumatic strands by painting them with uncured elastomer. Then, the two final strands, axial and radial, were bonded together with an uncured elastomer and arranged in a helical configuration to obtain interlaid axial and radial expansion. This soft robot is actuated by an electro-pneumatic circuit. We assess the performance of the axial actuation chamber by measuring the force exhibited against an external constraint as well as the maximum free load that it achieves. We obtain that the axial chamber exerts 1 newton at 19 kilopascals with an elongation of 35%. We evaluated the performance of the radial actuation chamber by measuring the force exhibited against an external spatial constraint. We obtained that the radial chamber exerts 1 newton at 20 kPa of pressure. The interdependence between both chambers was appraised by maintaining one of the chambers at constant pressure while pressurising the other and vice versa. We obtained an increase of 0.4 newtons in each of the chambers in comparison with their independent actuation.